and hair lower even. And you know that there is no limits for improvements, right? So that's where I decided to do another upgrade for my Sony 965 2 well deck. Specifically, I'm recently created a new test tape when I recorded uh, white noise from the Nakamichi uh, DR10, all right, or DR2, whenever. So, like, uh, which is like recorded up to 20 kilogears, very precise. And now, like, when I uh, play it back, I can quickly see the frequency response of any deck. And this deck, uh, comparing to my 555 ESJ, was a little bit dull. So I decided I replace it uh, all pass through capacitors with a solid polymer. All right. And it's become playing better, but still like uh, high frequencies were not at the place. And I measure it with my tape and like uh, it's come up that uh, after 10 kilogears there was a significant roll off. So what I did, I just like, uh, I was using capacitors from the top, uh, applying different values uh, to see what would work with the best with these heads. We already have 680 picofarad installed from the factory, but uh, now I'm also installed 1000 in a parallel. So uh, each head has 1680 picofarad capacitors and it extends the playback range to 16 kilogertz and so what i've heard so i recorded tape is dolby s specifically to see how well it can sound like we always play high frequencies or not and with this modification it plays really really nice all right also i did a full replace of capacitors on this board I replaced it 4.7 and bipolar with 22 microfarads. So to bring it closer to the higher end decks from Sony. And the rest 4.7 polar replaced with 10 microfarad polar, as you may see here, the blue caps here. All right. And it sounds beautifully. So let me assemble and I will show you frequency response now and I will explain what's the difference. See you in a moment. Okay, and here we're running, and it's uh, white noise. I'm installing those capacitors, and if you remember, uh, let me get my adjustment. Plastic screwdriver. Uh, we installed those uh, resistors, so we would be able to adjust frequency response in our previous series. But at this date, I was measuring just one kilogears or 400 gears and 10 kilogears. And right now, as you may see, I can adjust like uh, frequency response and see how well it goes. All right. Michael, make them as close as possible and as uh, in line on 20 decibel as possible. Like you see, it's a little bit brighter, one, two decibel here but it goes to 16 kilogears now easily and before it was rolling off like starting here and rolling off like uh, after 10 kilogears pretty heavily and these 1000 picofarad capacitors allow us to fix this behavior now let's check the second well how it will perform And again, we see the nice picture. I adjusted it before because I was installing capacitors, attaching them just to the wires here in the connectors, uh, in a parallel to the head, to measure and make sure that it will be working fine. All right. So now frequency response is more or less fine for a two head deck. Uh, you know, even with a good head, so they had a pretty minimum wear. Like you see, they look like new. Really, this deck has like almost no wear, and like it still was, like it was probably good for two well deck, but not for the uh, two head deck, but not for the three head deck. 
now it's much closer to three head deck all right so next step i will be tuning uh recording because i already checked and tuned uh, the frequency response and levels as you may see and recording procedure is pretty simple test levels uh technically we can like shorten so here is connector it will simplify like uh, how we will be working so let me find so the specific wire goes i'm using like that to short in like this connector right here and it will get into the test mode so when we will be recording it will automatically reset counter it would not use uh, automatic calibration so see test mode it will show all segments <laughs> let me turn it on all right now we have a tape here all right and now when i will uh, remove calibration and when i will click record it will automatically reset counter and uh, here is the level and i need 400 years here all right zero decibel here zero decibel there and now i will be testing come on it was staying for too long all right it's easy to use pause uh all right well, when we are recording it's reset counter automatically and put in the memory mode automatically now we click reverse and it will rotate it back and we can see the levels and one channel is a little bit lower so i will adjust levels right here increase a little bit and we can repeat record pause and it's do all work automatically i don't need to click so many buttons now I believe I already did a video before how to tune this deck as easy as like that. It gets better, so a little bit more. I'm afraid it's a bit too much. Okay. No. Record direction. All right, let me tune it. It's a process like uh, try and repeat, try and repeat. So we're recording, we're testing. Then I will be setting up bias. And um, bias is here for the left deck. And then like levels for metal tape, it's here, it's separate. And the same for this, like uh, we have record levels here in this area and bias here. So pretty simple setup. All right, let me do it and I see you in a moment. All right, guys, I just tuned both wells and I'm recording without automatic calibration. And that's uh, how the source look like. Okay, now rewind and playing back. And this playback, how it look like. And with automatic calibration, it will be one decibel lower and the highs all right so let's do automatic calibration for this deck but it's records and plays above 16 kilogears which is which is great for two head deck which is not nakamichi two head deck <laughs> really you know that the gap on this head is is bigger and like on the three head deck gap on the playback head is one micron and on the record is four micron like to record it better with more power but uh, on these decks uh, they have to use between two and four micron gap uh, to be able to record and play so that complicates the things all right we calibrate it counter reset recording again the original source 
You see it still have some roll up after 16 kilogertz. I went in the source mode. All right, now playing back. And that's what we have. With automatic calibration, this region is like about one decibel lower, but it's still pretty fine. So you see a little bit more low. Oh, yeah. And same with the other well. So technically it's it's absolutely the same. So no calibration. We're recording counter reset. And it shows the same picture with no calibration. Alright. Now rewind. Playing back. And that's what it shows. Pretty nice tuned deck. Up to, I believe, 17 kilogears on the minus 3 decibel level. Now, calibrate. So, I believe after this upgrade, it will play even better than before before we get really nice analog soft sound and uh, with this upgrade it will get even better it will extend high range and be more detailed really i guarantee right source and we're going five six seven eight nine ten seconds I love this day because it has so much automation and super super large display. Okay, now we have playback. Sorry. Okay, and that's what we recorded. Pretty flat to 17 kilohertz. Really, really nice. That's uh, how this deck may compensate. It has a very sophisticated uh, mechanism to line up uh, frequency response. All right, so would you like to see what it can do on minus 10? I don't expect much, but let's see. I hope it will work better now. That's what we recorded on minus 10. Wow, not bad. We lost just two decibel of 16 kilohertz. Really, really good. Okay. Do you think it can perform on zeros? Zero level. And that's what we recording now. I do believe it will be lower. So let's see. Play. Yeah, you see, roll up after 8 kilohertz. And now let's do Dolby S. As far as this deck should be better than the others. All right, recording, original. That's what we get with Dolby S. Not much better. I don't see big improvements, but no noise. That's already good. Hi, right. that would be it. Thank you for being with me tonight. It's it's really nice deck, like two in one, like two mid grade decks, and I'm trying to improve it and get this to the next level. Because like it's two in one, it's good mechanics, it's a good automation and pretty well uh, automatic calibration, which does great job. And it has Dolby S and large display, like all all in one. <laughs> all right, thanks for your time. See you. Bye bye.